Well, you've heard about the about using artificial intelligence to write a school paper. Some lawyers are even using it to write legal briefs, but now some people are using it to make money. And we're talking big money by helping them bet on sports. Well, Denver 7's Russell Haythorne takes a 360 look tonight at how AI is already changing the sports betting industry. Recent dramatic advances in artificial intelligence. As we've been reporting for months, AI is making headlines everywhere. Used for scripting, for shooting and producing movies. Hitting the news cycle daily. It sounds kind of apocalyptic. The rise of the robots. So we're going for 360. This is a really fast moving technology. You just don't know what it's going to look like in six months or in six weeks or in you know four weeks. <laughs> hey, this machine does a pretty good job. Why don't I use that? So what about sports betting? Can AI enhance your chances of winning? Say, tell you who has the best shot at winning this NBA Finals? I built a sports betting bot with ChatGPT. This one, for example, is called GPT Wager. I've made two bets. The first one is about 1,000 US dollars worth on the Golden State Warriors. The second one is about $1,000 on the Brooklyn Nets. YouTuber Siraj Raval walks his 750,000 subscribers through the process of using AI to bet. Show me a list of the top 10 most common math techniques to make money from sports betting. And after feeding the bot a little more guidance, show me a list of the top 10 open source odds APIs for sports betting. Raval makes his reveal. Drum roll, please. It looks like the bot made $7,000 from two bets, one for the Warriors and one for the Nets. Thank you, AI. It's a tool and people use tools. And anytime you come across something that's gonna make your life easier, why wouldn't you do it? But the ethics of AI in sports betting, in business, and our everyday lives is still highly questionable. To me, this is a textbook case of uh, kind of tech bro um, brazen irresponsibility. Julian Friedland at Metropolitan State University of Denver is one of the most vocal critics of AI. This is kind of a test, a stress test for capitalism. There's some line that's being crossed here that all of a sudden a lot of us are starting to get nervous and be like, wait a second. At the moment, AI is highly unregulated in the US and with sports betting gaining popularity and becoming easier and easier to use with an app on your phone. So you go straight to the app store, you can sign up on your couch and you can place bets, be it pre-game or in play. The debate continues about the ethics and whether bots will be a jackpot or a bust for betters. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.